and here we go. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Samrak. I'm Geneva. And I'm Sarah. We have another Family Guy compilation in front of us. Yay. Not just any compilation, but a Glenn Quagmire compilation. My favorite man. Mm -hmm. He's a very good man. Very good. <laughs> you see. <laughs> so I've gone to know who this character is mm -hmm. based on the compilation. He's the funniest so. one, in my opinion. He's been funny, yeah. yeah. Uh, He's got like the most like punchy jokes to me. Dude, if I ever walked in and some dude pressed a button and it turned into a full like 70s style from regular Bachelor Pad, <laughs> you got this from Quagmire. <laughs> People do vans and stuff like that. Yeah. So, are we ready? I'm ready. Yeah. So this is the third compilation that we're going through and if you do want to see the video yourself, the link uh, will be in the description down below. If you do like our reaction, please like, comment, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell. Alright, let's do it. Quack. What's his, what's his go-to line? <laughs> and here we go. Watch. I bet she orders the eggplant parmesan like it's something fancy. I'm thinking the eggplant parmesan. It'll be like we're in Italy. <laughs> Our family should wear uniforms with basic bitches across the front. <gasps> What's wrong with eggplant parmesan? Nothing. I was just making a joke. Stewie and I do it all the time. Stewie is a baby. You <laughs> badmouth our family to the baby? <laughs> Forget I said anything. Mom, Dad, <sighs> Brian's fun. talking crap about you guys to Stewie. What? No, I wasn't. Yeah, he was. He said we're a bunch of basic bitches. <gasps> it's kind of true, yo. Brian, if I was such a basic bitch, would I be wearing <gasps> solid black umpire shoes? <gasps> Umpires are cool. They make the rules. That is it out there. Water out. Are uh, umpires not cool? <laughs> I'm starting to feel foolish. Where the hell is my white wine with Sprite in it? Hi, oh. That man over there reading a book by himself has offered to pay for your meal if you move to a table outside. <laughs> You're not the dick. In this situation, you're paying for their meal, so you can't be the dick. <laughs> wow, when did you learn to cook, Glenn? Well, as a young man, I found that a great meal was the quickest way to a woman's heart. How romantic. I mean, how do you think NBA players get all those chicks? They're all great cooks. <laughs> Except Kobe Bryant. His, his secret is different. You've always known it. The <laughs> Peter, what are we doing here? I thought we were looking for your mattress. We are. This is a 1950s insane asylum. They use old mattresses to pad the walls of the cells. <laughs> May I help you? Yes, 1950s doctor. Me and my friends are looking for... Your friends with a Negro and a cripple? This man is insane. Take him away. <laughs> <laughs> Now, wait a second. You can't do that to him. A Negro speaking up to a white person? This man is insane. Oh, uh, 50. Now, look, I don't think... All cripples are insane. Euthanize this man. Oh. Ugh. Something I can help you with? Yeah, you got any brain-dead women in there you let people have sex with for a few bucks? Sure, come on back. Oh, my God. Wow. Guys, I'm kind of freaking out about killing that guy. Anybody else have a hard time sleeping? No, but there's an old John Mellencamp song you're not gonna fucking believe. Wait, wait what's all this stuff about you guys killing someone? Last night at the asylum, we killed that war hero. What, what, what? You, you really killed someone? <laughs> Holy moly, I don't think I want to hear this. Quagmire, you were there with us. You're so weird. Last night I was in St. Louis. I even have a picture. <gasps> See that? That's yesterday's <laughs> date on that newspaper. <laughs> on a Quahog informant? They sell the Quahog informant in St. Louis? Well, probably, but good luck with that whole you three and not me kill the guy thing. <laughs> Damn it, that bastard is bailing on us. Look, now that this is settled, maybe you and Glenn can put this behind you. No way! How am I supposed to be friends with someone who's in love with my wife? Oh, yeah. Quagmire is dead to me and needs to be dealt with in an appropriate manner. Shame. 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 Shame, shame, uh, shame! Uh, shame on you! Shame, shame, shame! Shame on you! This was serious, but it turned into something fun! <laughs> Mr. Quagmire, which box do these beads go in? Let me smell them. They go in the big box. 
Quagmire, <laughs> I can't believe you're moving. Look, give it time. This whole thing will blow over. Oh, it's too awkward. It's best for everyone if I just leave. That's too bad. We never got to do that Joe Quagmire lunch. Well, that'll do it. <laughs> Peter, Quagmire's serious about this. You gotta do something. You're right. Quagmire, wait! You almost left without this. <laughs> Got him. You want me to be the one who says jiggity now? <laughs> there you go, Joe. All settled. Now, which wall would you like to look at for the rest of your life? I don't know. It'd be that one. I, I have no idea what you're pointing at, Joe. You gotta meet us halfway. Look, guys, I don't want to be a burden to anyone. You go ahead and live your lives. I'll be fine. We can't just leave you, Joe. So before we go, I'm gonna put the remote in your mouth. Here's a can of chili. And the opener we'll put in your mouth. And here's a magazine I thought you might like to read. I'm gonna put it in your mouth. <laughs> Joe, I just wish we could do more, but obviously your mouth is full. And you probably don't want any reminders of Bonnie around the house, so I cleared out all of her underwear. Oh. Okay, don't be a stranger. Dinner will be ready soon. But Glenn, I have a surprise for you. Do you remember Buttercup? Who's Buttercup? <gasps> oh my god, I can't believe Buttercup is still alive! Alive and well. Wait a minute, you named a cat Buttercup? <laughs> Only Quagmire. And you know, Glenn, after you moved away, Buttercup had kittens. <gasps> what? That's right, you're a grandfather. <laughs> my god, this is more pussy than even I can handle. <laughs> Is he gonna say giggity? Should I say giggity? Are other people allowed to say giggity? Giggity. What? <laughs> Not then, it's stupid. Good evening, I'm Glenn Quagmire, your instructor. Everyone look to your left. Now look to your right. All of you are sex offenders, and statistically, you will all be here again, because this has never worked in the history of doing this. Now, today, we have a new member, giggity, Chris G. Hi, Chris. All right, before we begin, whoever's driving a windowless van painted like an ice cream truck, your lights are on. Oh, my God. Uh. <laughs> well, Ryan's a complete dick. We all know that. But I think we're losing sight of the point that Bonnie's a weird slut who's always letting you know she's open for business. What? When am I doing that? Oh, come on. When are you not doing that? With that boo-boo baby voice and that still breastfeeding rack? Ugh, give me some of that! <laughs> now, what the hell happened to my underwear? They're all stretched out. Oh, sorry about that. Me and the guys were using them to shoot crab apples at old man McCracken. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want raisins on Halloween! We want candy! Hey, Quagmire, aren't you gonna get in on this? I, uh, <laughs> got a wrong game going on over here. <laughs> oh, oh my god, that was good. Here's your beer, favorite. Peter. Thanks, Jerome. What do I owe you? Nah, you already paid me. It laughs. <laughs> I do a lot of island ones. Peter, you should do one where a baseball player can't steal second because he's on probation for drug crimes. Political. Hey, you put an island in there, you're in business. Hey, how about one where you draw a sock and it says, sock it to me? Or, or maybe draw Lois taking a hot tub dump and she just says whatever. <laughs> Obsession. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Whoa, what? I didn't know you worked out at this gym too. Uh, hey, Brian, hang on. I'm just finishing a set. Come on, come on, two more. Come on, come on, you gotta want it. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Let's get you a rub down. <laughs> okay, Rupert, we're going to play a game. I'm going to be Buffalo Bill, and you're going to be a great big fat person. Close the lid. Ryan, what are you doing? I'm hiding from Quagmire for a few more hours. After that, he won't be able to pull out of that deal. Then if anybody knows how to pull out, it's Quagmire. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of fun up here in my room. Oh, hey guys, what's going on? Quagmire, we need your help finding Meg. I would love if you guys would just call first. She's run off to some foot fetish porn party. We figured you might know where it is. You know, because of your boners and stuff. Foot fetish party, huh? Oh, come on in. Let me just fire up the internet here. Gonna go to Ask Beebs. Sorry, Joe's Wi-Fi is really slow today. Ugh, I know, it's the worst. We also use his cable TV. I like Joe. 
Here we go. Oh, it's a busy night. There's a black tie event. That's all black and tie chicks. <laughs> okay, this must be Meg's thing. Says there's a shukaki party tonight. Shukaki? What's that? It's 50 guys, one foot. Oh, my. Hi, Peter. Who's your little friend? Not now, prison, Lois. So it's over? And what was that? Same thing it always was, babe. A dream we both wanted to believe. <laughs> Peter, who was that? Not now, front sex, Lois. The important thing is, my days of selfishness and red wig twinks are over. I'm ready to come home with you. But Peter, you're in here till next week. Not anymore. Hi, I'm the warden. Definitely not a psychotic prisoner who just stabbed. Is that Matthew McConaughey? <laughs> Shh, everyone, the warden's talking. By the rules of prison and the love boat, you've made up, which means you get to leave wiser and happier. <laughs> I love you, Lois. Oh, I love you, Peter. Hey, Lois, one day, let's go to Venice. You promise? I said it, didn't I? Donna! Buddy! Sex doll! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, settle down. What? You ended up with, that's the intro, yeah? That is the, yeah. The actual that's intro. The, yeah. yeah, I've seen the intro before. Okay. So, what do we think? I like this one. It's funny. <laughs> I love this one. I love the panties one. The one that's slinging it, slinging it, slinging it. I'm playing the a different Pro game. <laughs> the gem one. Oh. Yeah, I like the gem one. No, this is a great. That was a few good ones. Oh, the, one, oh, the, the, the black tie man. <laughs> That was clever. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> oh, and then Stewie got jokes. Okay. I've seen a bunch of these episodes. Oh, you've seen them? Like the full? That one episode I told you guys about how he's in love with her. Yeah, that's that the yeah, the that aftermath was, of... Yeah, that was yeah. one of their ones. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that was overall a good compilation. Or they yeah. call it mashup, according to this channel. Yeah, we're good? Good. Okay. So if you do like our reaction, please like, comment, subscribe. Also, hit that notification <laughs> bell, and we'll catch you in our next family guy. Ta-da for now. Bye. Cheers.